All right, got the 82.95 pulled in here, hooked onto the cart. Now we're gonna get the combine out. I got the PTO greased. I gotta grease the rest of it. I gotta crawl underneath there. Take that shield off to grease down there under the sump because the holes that they put in the shield, yeah. Yeah, they don't line up. Can't get the scale to work. Don't know why. I've been messing with shit, unplugging wires, replugging wires, looking for bad wires. Can't find any. So I don't know if that block there is bad, what it is. I'll probably end up having to call the dealership to come out. Uh, and then there's poor old buddy who just flopped on the ground out there because he keeps having to move because he just keeps laying in the way. But we're working with him. So, I gotta crawl underneath there, get that grease, so Barb can get this thing out of my way so I can get the combine out, because the combine has to be running, because they're supposed to be pushing some software update through it. So I gotta call them and tell them so it can be running. There's times I hate farming. That was a son of a bitch. Somehow that grease bedding got turned a little and I had to move it to get it lined back up. Didn't want to take grease. She's taking it over to park it under the corn crib. So I can get the combine out. Call them so they can upload the software. We still haven't figured out the scale. Probably have to have them look at that too. I don't know if she turned it on like I told her to to see if it was the numbers were bouncing going over there. But so, anyways, that's gonna go under the corn crib where we put it during the fall, during harvest. Oh, now I'm gonna get this damn thing out. All right, it's out. Oh, my phone just ding. It's Barb telling me my lunch is ready. But anyways, there was coon shit all over the front of this, sons of bitches. Head on to the shop, and apparently the coons decide they want to come in. I just got done with the air compressor and the four-foot wand, trying to blow off as many of the cobwebs as I can. God, it's just it's mind-numbing how shitty they get. Whee, sitting in storage for... Well, whatever, 10 months. It's supposed to rain hard here tomorrow, chances of it. I may just leave it sitting right there and let it get a little bit of a rain bath to get some of the shit off. But I have no idea if the upload worked. I left it running for half an hour. Didn't see anything on the computer that said anything different. Ugh. And I'm waiting to hear back from the dealership. So, I don't know. Guess you'll find out when I find out. He's had a rough day. Oh, I know. Those of you that are new, it's got something to do with shutter speed, so don't bitch at me because I'm just sitting here completely still in the combine with just the key on. So I don't understand it. But anyways, I'm trying to do this computer software update. And I'm downloading the software right now this is about the i don't know third time now i've tried it you're dirty and i've had to recall call the dealer twice now because i pushed f for download then it gets downloaded i push g for install then it takes a shit or something okay what do we got here a software a software update is available for installation. No shit, I just did it. Okay, see now, well you probably won't be able to see because of all the whole shutter speed thing, but now we're down here to where I gotta push G to install. So I'm pushing G. Accept the terms of their, you know, bullshit stuff. Turn engine off and key on. The engine is off, the key is already on. Because originally when it failed, it told me do not run the machine. So I didn't dare start it again. But he told me I could just do it with the key. So now it shows. Let me get you down here again. 
shows one of three and then this arrow so we're going to push the arrow to go to the second one i don't know how well you can read it do not start engine do not turn key to off position installing software time remaining 20 minutes well i got about five minutes out of it last time and it told me it didn't work and we're on step two out of three so i don't know i guess if it takes a shit again i'm gonna have to call the dealership they'll have to come out and try and you know do it with a computer or something which will cost me a service call and this whole jd link john deere link thing that it's supposed to go through that we installed was so that it could be pushed you know and i wouldn't have to pay for a service call yeah how's that working out for us Gotta love modern technology. There's days I miss my old 9600. Oh, I don't know how well you can see it, but our bar is moving. The green line it says time remaining one minute. Although the thing's not even halfway, so I don't know how it's gonna be a minute, but unless it all of a sudden goes fast. That really sucks with that whole whatever shutter speed thing to be able to show you guys the yield monitor this fall. Just like it sucked last year to do it. I don't know. How to, I mean, it actually comes through a little better on my phone. I have to do little snippets with my phone or something. I don't know. But hopefully this is working. This is this is farther than I got the last two times that I tried to do this. Let's put it that way. So we'll see what happens. Well. The bar is completely full of green, but it still says time remaining one minute, and we're making all sorts of funky beeping sounds every now and then. The installation completed successfully. Turn the key to the opposition and wait 30 seconds before restarting your vehicle. Yay, and it says three out of three. All right, so we're going to wait 30 seconds before we restart our vehicle. Not that we're going anywhere, because like I said, I think I'm going to leave it outside. Oh, hey, what's this? Uh, I don't know, because the screen just left me. But I think I'm going to leave it outside anyhow, because I'm kind of hoping it does. If it's going to rain and they're talking to Thunder Boomer, that we get a little shot of rain. Or, you know, I don't want it to downpour too hard, but if it does get a slight downpour, it'll give it the poor man's wash where I don't have to pull the pressure washer back out. God, it's disgusting how shitty they get sitting in storage. But what do you think? Has it been 30 seconds? Have you been counting? Because I haven't. It's been one of those days covered with grease, had to tell, dealing with this BS. But it's been at least 30 seconds. So let's restart our vehicle. Which feels a lot better, too, because it was getting hot in here. It's like in the low 80s today. Let's see if the screen shows us anything different, which I'm doubting it will. But I'm assuming we're, we're, we're good. Yeah, I know. My fuel level's low, so just shut up. I don't like to park it over the winter with a, a lot of fuel in it. There was two bars left. Come on, screen. Takes forever for all this green star bullshit to... And it went back to the normal, which this would be the screen that y'all will see, if you can see it worth a shit, when I'm combining, which will give us my yield, the moisture, my different settings. I would say it's complete, like they said, and it's done, and I'm gonna call the dealer to make sure, because they can look at it's the only one nice thing about that John Deere link thing is they can know everything that's going on with this machine sitting at the dealership looking at a computer. Modern technology. So I'm going to ask them. They'll let me know. Me again. I'm waiting for that screen to go away and another one to prompt me to go through it all again because apparently there's five different ones. And what I didn't know is one of them was successful. The other four, I still have to do. 
So apparently you have to do the process five times. Would have helped if I had known that part. Uh, so I'm waiting for this screen to go away. Give me the prompt screen to go through it all again. Oh, Lord have mercy. Modern technology. It's great, but yet it sucks. Alright, next day. Done with the software update bullshit. Yes, like I said, had to do it five times. Now the letter that John Deere sent me said there was only two updates. ECU unit and I don't remember what the hell the other one was. But dealership said no, there was five. And I had to go through it all five times. So basically it took, oh yeah, and there he is. He ate better this morning. He won't eat dog food. He just eats his cat food and bones. Weird. But I had to go through it five times. It's pretty basically, it was about a, I don't know, two hour project. And here comes the friend who's a boy because we're going to sweep the bins out now. So, next project. All right, so this is what we're doing. Well, he's in there sweeping at the moment. I'm gonna be greasing that bearing there and the motor and whatnot. He's sweeping what little bit of corn is left that like falls off the walls just to get the floor good and clean. And then I'll go in and I gotta take that cover off the center hole, sweep the bearings that are in there that drive it. It's starting to sprinkle a little. I mean, they said heavy rain today, but the radar has been showing nothing. But now it's starting to sprinkle. Of course, when you want to do something, it's when it decides it's going to rain. Very hard to film in here because it's dark. But I got to take this cover off. See if I can do it one handed. Grease fittings on the bearings for the main drive shaft down here. Yeah, you can't see it. Wasting my time. All right, I'm out by the dryer. The bins are done. All the the uh, augers, discharge augers. You know the ones back there in those bins. They're all greased. As you saw, they're swept. The augers inside the sweep augers they all got some grease fittings on them they're greased the ones under the floor there for the drive shaft those bearings are all greased so that's done so now i'm staying in front of the i don't know i mean this is a debate is i've always called it super b it's a brock dryer this is an sq16 some people call it superb i call it super b I don't know what you call it, but my old ass is going to grease this now, my old fat ass, so I got to jump up inside here, because I took these shields off, to grease this big shaft that goes through the fan here, there's a grease fitting on each end, and there's a little story behind this, so I will tell you when I get in there to show you. First, let me give, before I crawl in there, let me give you a little backdrop here, last fall, this this dryer I bought in 2012, or installed it in 2012. I think I bought it in the fall of 11, brand new. Used to have an old Super B here from the mid to late 80s. But I started getting a vibration up here with like the last probably 100 ton left. That wet bin was full of corn. Christ, that shield fell off on the ground. That one popped open. Couldn't figure it out. Well... This summer, when I had, earlier this summer, when I had the bin guys come out, they put me, you can see right here, this chain. They put me a, right here, it goes up. They put me a lid on the top of the wet bin that we can open and close from the ground here. So that either Barbara or I don't have to go up there anymore. 
so when they were out here i had them look at this very interesting what they figured out that i probably should have over the last eight or nine years but just didn't so i'll show you all right i just greased that grease fitting on this big ass bearing for the shaft that goes through the fan as you can see there's a collar here i don't know how well you can see there but we've also slid the shaft a good inch or so that way now when i crawl my old ass through here oh bear with me to get to the other side oh lord i will show you why oh i'm getting there i'm getting there oh put new belts on it this year here's a brand new bearing with you know the built-in collar system doesn't have the collar but look at the shaft i don't know how well you can see it but there's a step up there it's this width the whole width and then it's wore down some we had to slide the shaft this way to get on to new shaft this bearing on this side never had a locking collar on it I don't know I just never it didn't ruin the old bearing but what happened is it started wearing on the shaft and that shaft was vibrating just enough it was causing the whole machine to vibrate so I called the Brock company I don't know if you can see me very well let me kneel down try to get more in the light but so I called the Brock company did get a human this was earlier this spring like I said told them about it I said I had the A.N. Martin is their name the people that was working on it I said I had them here said never had a collar on it obviously straight from the factory because we've never taken this pulley off so you would have had to take this pulley system off to where the collar was going to be so they said well we'll talk to our you know branch division guy in the northeast and get back to you well after me calling three more times i think and always getting an answering service you know an answering machine because they probably had my number and said let's not answer that and nobody ever calling me back yeah basically i paid to get it fixed so but rather than pull that out and put a whole new shaft in that's what we did so and obviously we're gonna find out if it works so but that's bullshit in my opinion and it was amazing how easily that shaft moved i mean i come out here like the day before they called me and i sprayed the shit out of everything with free all and whatnot and it actually worked while i'm while i'm in here i'll show you okay above that floor is where the burner is and where it heats the corn this section down here is where the cooler air is and then it runs down all these columns the corn into the bottom underneath these floor into a drag auger which i've shown you before it's not the regular auger system it's that plastic l i don't know i call it like an elevator type thing elevator drag that drags it back to the leg but this is the section this if you wanted to do full heat you'd have to take away or take off the the doors that are up there so the heat could get down here but anyways saturday i think colin's coming so we can go through the combine i'm gonna finish i'm gonna crawl my big fat ass out of here and finish greasing this thing so my opinion of brock I mean, they've always had great equipment, but that was pretty shitty on their part. Never to call me back, never to do anything. So this was a reasonably cheap fix. Hopefully it lasts. Worst case scenario, we end up taking that shaft out and putting a new shaft in. But the shaft was long enough to be able to move it sideways or, you know, move it to that end farther to get back to good shaft. So 
All right, so I'm going to end this video. This one's probably long enough listening to me bullshit. So go to the info in the video and the description and check out the Grumpy Farmer Apparel link there. And Mad Moose, check out Mad Moose. Go to Mad Moose, have them make you shit if you want, whatever. I'll probably do the combine. I'll do that a separate video and some other stuff. It's the 16th of September. I think in the next two weeks we'll be going. So... We'll see you then.